Welcome to another episode of the Team Elmer's Update, where we take you past the orange barrels and onto the job site. Hey guys, my name is AJ Lawhead and we're on site here at the Children's House, an independent Montessori environment where they nurture children who are lifelong learners in children three months through eighth grade. On this episode, we feature a do-it-yourself project, constructing a nine by nine sandbox. Let's take a look at the materials we use to complete this project. Four nine foot two by 12s, four 18 inch four by four posts, eight ounce filter fabric that's slightly larger than the nine by nine area, three yards of play sand, 28 wood screws, and our miscellaneous tools. Now that we have all our materials, let's get started. The first step is to measure and cut each of our 2x12s down to the correct 9 foot length. You can also have them pre-cut when you purchase them. Once the cuts have been made, we can router and sand the edges to provide a nice smooth surface for the sandbox frame. It's now time to assemble the frame. Screw together each of the four sides and place the sandbox frame where you would like it to sit when completed. Now you can edge an outline around the box so you know where you will need to remove the sod. Move the frame and begin to remove the sod from the outlined area. If you have another area around your home that is in need, you can transplant the sod directly. However, in this instance we will simply dispose of the discarded material. Once the sod has been removed, you can place the frame back into place, ensuring it fits properly. Now we can lay out our filter fabric underneath the frame cutting to size around the edges, as well as cutting holes in each corner for the corner post to fit into. Dig out 6 inches of soil for your 4x4 post to sit in, and secure them in place. It's time to add our sand. At Team Elmer's we offer a number of different sand options. For this project we chose to use our mason sand, which can be found at many of our locations around the state. And now all that's left is to add a pile of toys and a few eager kids to play with them. Before we let you go, let's check in with another playground project across town. Alright guys, now we're over at the Traverse City Cooperative Preschool where they're learning hand in hand. And we're taking one of their existing sand tables and repurposing it with a new updated look. Similar to the previous project, the sides are cut, routered, and sanded down before being assembled. However, this time around we are reusing the base of the existing sand table and will build around it. Before securing the sides to the table, we place four brand new corner posts roughly six inches into the ground. Next, the liner is cut to size and placed in the bottom of the table to support the sand, which is now ready to be added to the newly remodeled sand table. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Team Elmer's Update. As always, stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook, and check out TeamElmers.com for more project information. If you'd like to know more about the Children's House, where they're partnering with families to raise exceptional learners, visit TraverseCityChildrensHouse.org. And if you'd like more information about the Traverse City Cooperative Preschool, where they specialize in play-based early childhood education, visit TCCoop.org.